remember it, you know, like it was just a few minutes ago. The whale came up on a breath, came up, put its eye above the surface, looked at me, and I could tell it was looking at me, and just stayed there. Slowly swimming to the whale, getting closer and closer, inching my way, I put my hand up next to the whale, right next to the eye, and the eye was, you know, just right there, and I could see the eye was following me. I'm here to help you, I'm not gonna hurt you. One mile line, tied up to this whale and floating around it. It was a 3,000 pound anchor attached to its tail. It was grab ropes, grab ropes, tie in a knot, cut them, cut them, cut them, sink them. Some of the individual ropes went into the blubber two, three inches deep. I put my hand on the whale and I told the whale, okay, this is gonna hurt. But the whale was so cooperative, it would open its mouth, the guy would put his hand up inside of it and pull pieces of rope out of the baleen one by one. One of the last cuts I did was cutting the ropes free at the tail. Uh, looking down, I see all the crab pots falling into the abyss. The whale at that point started moving around. It's swimming in circles, it's swimming in figure eights around us, swimming right next to us, rubbing us, and then uh, it dove down. Looking down the water, next I know I have this whale coming right up at me. And it was like a small moving bus coming at me. And it stopped, it literally stopped six inches away from my chest. And then nudged me forward, like your household dog does when he wants to be petted. It turned on its side and put its eye right next to me and stopped and looked. And I started petting her again. So it was definitely a, uh, a feeling of affection. 